This is the momentary flash of a sprite taken by the super sensitive camera. And when shot by the high speed camera, it looks like this. In just a few hundredths of a second, countless particles of light rain down. This is the first time a sprite's formation has ever been revealed in such detail. During the night, 14 sprites were captured by the high-speed camera. 3,000, yes, very good. What else will the footage reveal? That's just because it's expanded out. Right. 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 Yeah. At first glance, this sprite may seem to burst up from the storm clouds towards space. But when seen by the high-speed camera, the movement looks completely different. Bursts of light appear out of the center, spreading both up and down. In fact, when examined in slow motion, it appears that sprite formation is more complicated than early reports had indicated. And what about this sprite shaped like angel's wings? With this one too, bursts of light suddenly appear out of darkness. They go down, and the next moment up, and then down again. They change their direction as they unfold. So what is really happening? Within the sprite, electrons are colliding with charged particles in the atmosphere, creating a pathway for the electrons to travel. Where they go depends on the concentration of electrons and the composition of the atmosphere. Sprites are beautiful and intriguing. But do they actually have a role to play in Earth's upper atmosphere? Yukihiro Takahashi is investigating the aftermath of a sprite. Once the electrons cut open a path, the atmosphere around it becomes highly electrified. Following the sprite's path, a large electric current continues to flow from the thundercloud to the ionosphere which shows up as the air glow in many sprite images. The sprite flashes only for an instant, but at the moment when it flashes, a conductive path is created. The electrified path doesn't disappear when the flash ends, but stays there for a while. The effects are thought to last several seconds to minutes. The result is a massive transfer of electric charge in the space between the cloud and the ionosphere. The team also successfully captured a sprite from different angles, as they had originally planned, using high-speed cameras placed on the two aircraft. By combining the images from the two cameras, the three-dimensional structure of the sprite becomes apparent. A large number of electrons collide with the atmosphere, creating brilliant bursts of light and opening channels where the electrons can flow. Each sprite channel can be hundreds of yards wide. A sprite event is like a switch that turns on an electric current in the space between the Earth and the ionosphere. In fact, our planet is surrounded by electric current from the surface to the edge of space. Like lightning, sprites help to complete a global circuit, allowing charge to flow continuously around the Earth. But sprites reach much farther than lightning. And unlike lightning, sprites can transfer charge into the ionosphere, to the edge of space. Not only that, but the bolts of lightning that create the sprites are so powerful that they literally reverberate around the world.